Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be going over how to fix your Android box if it's bricked. Now by bricked, I mean if it's stuck on the logo screen like this. And usually you'd be able to factory reset your box from settings inside your box. I have another video that goes over that. In this video, you're also going to find out how to get to the screen in order to update your firmware if your firmware is out of date. So we'll also briefly go over that, but I'll have another video in more depth on how to do that. Like always, click subscribe below, it helps out a ton. Press the like button and comment below on any future videos you like. Don't forget, every subscriber has a chance to win one Fire Stick every month. And we're also giving away a NVIDIA Shield Pro when we hit 1,000 subscribers. I think by the end of the March, we're going to get there. So now we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and talk about everything you need in order to do this factory reset process. So I have two different boxes here. The reason for this is because the factory reset switch is in two different places. Uh, there is another hidden spot that I'll discuss and it could be in another spot as well. So you might have to look up your specific model, but the two I show you almost guaranteed that's where it's going to be. You also need some sort of small pin or toothpick that is going to be able to fit inside a little hole. So I just have this little safety pin from Dollarama, if I can get it focused on the camera so you can see. And then of course you'll need your power cord when you start the process and then your HDM, HDMI cord in order to hook up to your monitor. Okay, so now that we have everything ready, the first thing we're gonna have to do is identify where the factory reset switch is. So on this Pendu box, uh, what we're looking for is a little hole uh, and that's where the factory reset switch will be on this box. So I'm gonna bring this up to the camera and if you look next to the USB port right here, we have this little switch. Now I find not a lot of Android boxes actually have this available where the switch is hidden, but on some of them you will see this. And when you stick your little pin in there, what you're gonna feel is a little button and you can hear a little click. I don't know if you can hear it on sound yet or not. And that click is the factory reset switch. Um, another common spot for this switch would be at the bottom. There are some boxes that have a little switch here where you can just press with your thumb actually. And that's a really nice spot for it to be. So I always appreciate when Android manufacturers put them there. So now we'll take a look at this X96 Pro. And this one has the most common spot for it. And that is the AV port. So inside this big AV port, if you actually feel around with your pin when you go deep enough, sometimes you have to move it around enough, you will feel the exact same switch. So this is also probably the most common spot between Android boxes. And yeah, this is where you're gonna find it most of the time. Sometimes it will also be in another port like the IR port, uh, nothing in there this time, obviously. And then also sometimes there'll be a little hole on the side of the box. So you do have to look around and press inside some holes in order to find where your switch is, but you will find it eventually. Okay, so now that you know where your factory reset switch is, what you're gonna have to do is have your HDMI cord, have one end plugged into your monitor. You're gonna have to have your power cord plugged in at a power source, and then you just need your little safety pin. So the first thing we're gonna do is hook our box up via the HDMI. Bit of a tight fit on this one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our box and we know where our little switch is. We're gonna go ahead and hold down this switch and you need to keep holding it down. So make sure that switch is held down. This is very important. If you let go of it, it could mess up the process and you might have to try again. And then while you're holding it down, you're gonna plug in your power source. And now this is where your box would usually go to a boot screen. It might do that as well, but after a certain amount of time, as you keep holding down this little switch, eventually it's gonna to go to this screen. Now it took roughly 15 seconds for this screen to pop up, but now we can get into the restart process from here. So now from this restart menu, it's very important that your stock remote is gonna be the one that's easiest to navigate this menu. Sometimes it's the volume up, volume up and volume down button that lets you move around in the screen. And sometimes it's just the regular buttons on your remote. You can also use a keyboard remote that plugs in sometimes, but it's really not recommended at all as it doesn't move around in the screen very easily. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and what we wanna do is wipe cache partition three times. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and click yes. And then we're gonna to wanna to do that again. And then we're gonna do it one more time. And then from here, we're gonna go and do wipe data factory reset. And we wanna do that once. 
And this is going to bring your box now back to factory reset settings. So we'll have nothing on it that it had before, but it should fix any issues that you were having with your box before. And now what I suggest doing is powering off. And what will that will do is restart your box and reboot everything. This could take up to 10 minutes. Um, I've had it take that long. If it's stuck on the boot screen for longer than that, sometimes turn your box off and try restarting it once and that will fix it. If not, try the process again, but it usually works on the first time. So like always, click subscribe below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment any questions you have below and I will see you guys in the next video.